citizens of the Republic, welcome back to another reaction slash review. Today, we are back with the Bad Batch Season 3, Episode 8. Really excited, we're about halfway through the season. I can't believe it already, it's insane. Um, you know, every week I wait for this episode to come out. We watch it, and I realize we're already eight, eight episodes in at this point, and it's just insane. It goes, <laughs> it goes by so quick, we wait so long for these, and then it just goes by in a flash. But I, I think that goes to show how good this show has been that it's going by so fast you know mm -hmm. uh before we get into the episode i wanted to say i i did see now this upsets me but i don't know how much they're gonna do it in the future there was like like teasers posted of this episode before it came out so I know something in the episode. I don't know what happens in the episode, but I know something in the episode. It's not like the biggest deal, but I just know and <laughs> You wish you didn't know. I wish I didn't know it was this episode. I knew it was ha yeah. like in the mm -hmm. in the season, but I did not know it in this episode. Uh yeah. But I also have like a hundred million different things to talk about after the episode because I've seen so many things and seen people talk about so many things that I really I I've I don't know I have so much to talk about with a lot of things so I'll wait till the end to do that and now we could just get into this episode I don't know if it's that I, I don't know if this episode is going to be all that like crazy like plot dependent episode you know what i mean yeah i wouldn't honestly i wouldn't expect this to be especially coming off of that you know two episode uh two episodes last week um yeah because those were you know a lot happened in those um <clears throat> but i'm really glad to see there's a lot of speculation here with the bad batch because you know it gets a lot of people talking about it which then draws more attention to it Mm -hmm. um, and it gets everybody involved. I mean, we keep saying it. This is a show that just deserves deserves the love. It deserves the attention uh, that it's getting from a lot of the the fandom right now. Yeah. So, um, like I said, we we got a lot to talk about after this one. So let's go ahead and get into this episode and talk about it after. We need to know more about why Hemlock's after you, and what his MCAN experiments mean. Until then. You have to lay low. Incoming transmission from Fee. Mm hmm. Who? She's a liberator of ancient wonders. <laughs> pirate. She's a pirate. I wish you would have said uh, text girlfriend. Oh, yeah, that would have She called him Tech. Not brown eyes. Hunters have been retrieving M count targets for the Empire. What about Phoenix? Who? Oh, Phoenix Shen. She was hired by the Kaminoans to abduct Omega. Stay on Pabu and stay out of trouble. Both of you, fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Crosshair. Yeah. See if you can convince him to get his hand looked at. He's still probably my favorite member. Oh yeah, Fennec. Fennec is the thing I knew him out. By the way, I knew Fennec uh, was yeah, in this I, episode. When they brought it up, I figured that was probably the thing. Yeah. That you're talking about. It was just like it was a teaser yeah. that was posted on Twitter, like by, like it's not like it was it was like a leak or anything. Like it was posted by official accounts. It's like, like yeah. why do they do that stuff, man? Like I haven't like, dude. It, it literally the episode drops at three a.m. Like, can you wait? <laughs> like, I'm 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 going to watch the episode. Like, like they yeah. posted it like last week. They posted it like after the last episode. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'm gonna watch the next episode anyway. Why are you like? Why are you trying to hype me up for this episode? True. <laughs> Yo, I like the vibes here. 
I need the name of the song, dude. <laughs> oh my god, this is a heater. You're gonna start using it? Oh, snap. Alright. <laughs> I remember you too. You're the clones who ruined one of my scores. We hear the Empire has a bounty out for M count targets. Why do you want to know about that? That's our business. I haven't done one of those jobs myself, but I might know someone who has. In touch with them. Can be. That will definitely cost it's gotta be. But <laughs> we might be able to work something out. Side the unavoidable side quest. I've read your files from before. Yep. The issue here, they want the bounty hunter that knows about the M count. It's gonna be Cad Bane. They got bad blood. Oh yeah. Same. Not a good thing. Unfortunately, a lot of bad blood. Never heal 100%. There's nothing else you can do? I have exhausted all medical treatment options. Perhaps the issue is not something physical. You think it's in my head? If you were to elaborate more on the experimentation you were subjected to, I could determine the cause. <laughs> Forget mm. it. Oh, no. So it's kind of as we thought. It was yeah, something. it's psychological. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I want to know more about. That's exactly. what I want to hear from Crosshair. Yep. Took out a couple of top bosses for the Hexian Brood and escaped with a cache of credits. Powerful people want him found. The Hexian Brood, that's from <clears throat> in the Jedi uh, in the Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. They're they're after Cal a lot mm -hmm. in those games. It's gonna be nice to see Hunter actually use like the the tracking. It's like special ability, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he <has>. like <laughs> he like never gas yeah, he like rarely uses it now. Mm -hmm. This looks so good. It it, it looks insane. <laughs> it's just the fact that like the backgrounds are so obviously like oil paintings and they just look so good. Oh yeah, they look stunning. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap that's a lot av might be right whatever they did to you on tantus could have affected you more than you realize no 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 it's not in my head i have an idea but you're gonna have to trust me <laughs> i'm not gonna like it am i <laughs> You don't like anything. <laughs> true. The <laughs> true. He said true. <laughs> oh my god. I, the funny thing is, I was gonna say true right after she oh. said that, and he said true. <laughs> They're so good. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here it is. Oh my god, it's not just one. Dude. It's... <laughs> Record got up there quick. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> he just jumped on him. <laughs> he just thrown hands with this thing. <laughs> He's wrestling it. <laughs> Did the he I just suplex a gator <laughs> into another gator. <laughs> Dude, I love Wrecker, man. Oh my god. <laughs> he just body slammed one. That's why I never go in the water. Oh my god. That's why I love Wrecker, man. He was th throwing hands with the gators, suplex on him. Yeah. <laughs> and just so you know, I didn't lose Omega. I let her go when the bounty was called off. By who? The client. They thought Omega would be safer with you guys. Guess they were wrong about that. <laughs> I guess you'll work for anybody as long as you. Oh get my back. God! Bad guys, bad guys, wow. All the same. So they called off the bounty because mm -hmm. they knew they'd be able to get her from the Bad Batch. Yep. Wow.
Yeah, like that's that. gross. What a little weirdo. Yeah, that thing. Oh, what the Ugh. heck is dude? It looks so weird. Come on, Wrecker. Why didn't you just stun him? <laughs> you tried to tackle him. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's perfect Ooh. form right there on the tackle. Ew. The oh, suplex! The suplex! The suplex. <laughs> the suplex them again, dude. <laughs> that was a picture perfect <laughs> this oh, German dude, suplex. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my god, they, she has it <laughs> meditating. What? <laughs> Meditation? It'll help you heal. I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you learn this? I picked it up from my friend Gunji and the other Wookiees on Kashyyyk. You've been to Kashyyyk? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> You've missed a lot. I know. Oh my god. They're the best part of that this season, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, for sure. I just finished a job with some clones. They were asking about the Empire's M count bounties. What can you tell me? I'm sure you can track them down easily enough. I'll send you what I have. There it is. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Oh my god. Yep. Why couldn't this just be like three hours long? Let me see the whole season. <laughs> that's all I'm Jesus. Saying, that's what I'm saying. Why can't the episodes all be out right now? <sighs> and so I can just binge watch it, the whole thing. I, dude, I literally just want everything that I can get <laughs> from Crosshair and Omega. That's all I want. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I'm really hoping he gets back to form, man. Yeah, I, I, I do really like that they have established this fact that it is psychological. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is something that we were like, we talked about plenty. I mean, mm -hmm. that was kind of the main thing. Was is it is it PTSD? Is it like something that they did to him, or? Was it like just, just repeated trauma to his hand that just messed it up? Yeah. Because uh, something that I wanted to bring up that could have some sort of, uh, some sort of link is Hemlock has the, like the same problem with the same hand yeah where he's always like holding his hand you know yeah he's got the glove so like is it is it actually physical yeah, and, i don't it's uh, so weird because yeah. like the because the thing that throws that off like you said is the hemlock thing where he does he does like holds his hand it's 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 weird, dude, because it might it might be something that they did to him that's affecting him mentally. Mm. I don't know. It's so weird. Cause like if he was in that training to be one of those assassins, they wouldn't purposely mess up his hand. No, not at all. Dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, because. That's what that's what I'm assuming. Uh, people brought up the fact that like at the end of season two, when Omega sees Crosshair, he is like, like strapped down to a table, and that was probably him like in his reconditioning, 
yeah for that and maybe because he didn't fully complete that maybe that's how his hands messed up um so that was like uh, I I wanted to bring up like the link between Hemlock and and Crosshair with the hand thing, because I'm I'm curious on that. Uh, cause I I'm I'm also a little curious on if Hemlock has his own intentions with things as well. Like he's maybe he's not just working toward Project ne- Necromancer. Maybe he's also kind of pulling a Moff Gideon, where he sent the he, benefit to. Yeah, like he's doing yeah. something off by himself for his own benefit, not in the interest of the empire. Yeah. Uh because he's like he he's trying to climb up within the ranks of the empire so he can have all of like everything from the empire at his disposal to be able to do what he wants exactly that's and that's what he's gotten from the emperor for project necromancer so maybe he's taking advantage of that and doing things for himself yeah no that's definitely his end goal is to get everything he possibly can out of the empire so i feel like obviously he's like on the empire's side but he's obviously like he he's definitely in it for his own personal gain too like no doubt there's no doubt about it yeah and just what is that ultimate end goal (laughs) We don't know yet exactly. Mm-hmm. So um, th- I I f- I have a feeling that these next few episodes are gonna like, they're gonna go by very fast. I I think it's gonna be a fast paced like few episodes here because once you get into like it ends at fifteen, I feel like fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, and twelve are gonna be like all one big thing. True. So we have like two or three episodes here until we start really getting into the big climax of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think we'll start learning a lot of things really, really quickly here. Uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm so pleased with the way that they are handling Crosshair in this season. Mm-hmm. It's completely I'm, different completely different. something something i wanted to talk to you about because it is this this would be there, there's no way they do this because it would be absolutely devastating like like i would not be able to live <laughs> if crosshair actually was still working with the empire to some degree that would be that would be i don't i don't think there's any way especially now with this episode with like he is so warmed up to omega that like that i i just don't see any way you know dude if they did that i would that would be so out of left field i would not expect that at all and i think i don't think it would be good Nah, it, I don't think it would be good either. It, I really just b- wouldn't think it would really add much, you know? Like, I feel no. like it would drag the whole build up. I feel like it kind of drag it down a little bit. Yeah. Um, and, and it would just like, I, because they, they played into it right mm-hmm. when he came back of like Wrecker and Hunter being like cautious of it. Like, well, actually, Hunter, I should say, not Wrecker, because Wrecker said Omega trusts him, so I trust him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hunter didn't trust him, so like, I I feel like they played into it too much there for it to be a possibility. Yeah, uh, that's true. Um, but I but, feel like you know that's gonna be like any natural reaction out of somebody, you know? If, yeah. Like, they betrayed you, and you know, for so long, and then all of a sudden it's like, you know, why all of a sudden is you just decide this you know change now mm-hmm. you know after all this time so yeah and, that's and, and hunter I... hunter doesn't know what crosshair has been through either that too but they they all i mean crosshair doesn't know anything that they've been through like this I mean, entire yeah, episode the... the entire start of the episode they're like like oh we got this this information from fee who's that <laughs> who's fee oh 
you should you should uh talk to Fennec. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> you went I to learned... Kashyyyk? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That that that's really what it was too. It was him just asking questions. Who's this? Yeah. Who's that? You went to Kashyyyk? <laughs> and then like Omega he... saying that he missed a lot. Mm-hmm. And then I think didn't he say like I know or something or after that? Uh, he said something. I feel like he said I know or something like that along those yeah. lines. But yes, yeah, he did say I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So you could you tell you missed a lot. And it looked like he kind of when he said that it looked like he kind of regretted it a little bit. Like he definitely wished he was there for a lot of that, obviously. Oh, and then the then the part where where she says you don't like anything. <laughs> He's like, I'm not sure I'm gonna like it. Or true. You don't like anything, <laughs> like, dude. It's uh, they're doing it so well, and you want to know what really hurts me? What? This is exactly what they did with Tech last season. <laughs> and we all know what happened to Tech. Oh no, man. Let's hope, hope it's different this time. Let's hope it's different. Oh my god, I hope it's different. <laughs> Uh, Crosshair's my favorite one, dude. Don't I, let him I, go. I've said this. I said this last season. I said this at the start of this season. What I hope they do. I hope if there's anyone out of the group to make any sort of sacrifice, which it, it's almost a guarantee, I want the sacrifice to be... Echo sacrifices himself to save Crosshair. That is what I want to see. I don't want anybody to go out. <laughs> Neither do I. I really don't. But I it's think so Echo tough. is the most disposable mm-hmm. because he he has died once already. We were already without him. And I think he makes the most sense because he has to die at some point because he's not with Rex in Rebels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's where that's he would true. be. Because he, he's not with the Bad Batch. You can't say, oh, in Rebels, he's with the rest of the Bad Batch. <laughs> like, well, yeah, with the way they're going with this season, it's like he's always off with Rex doing something. Yeah. Because um, you can tell he definitely, like, you know, the Bad Batch, they, they're soldiers too, but they, it looks like they kind of want to be done with it. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think echo can just be done with it you know like no. he's gotta be out it's just like re- with rex like rex has to be out there he too. has so much loyalty to rex as well so that too he served under rex for a while and you know rex was one of the people you know he was with the bad batch and anakin when they found him and mm-hmm. so it just makes sense for echo to be with rex like now especially but yeah, I have well, I have seen people bring up the idea of them possibly doing because the Bad Batch is ending them doing a Clone Wars like animation style show of Rex and Echo like following that sort of group. Is that possible? Yeah, but I don't I don't know if that's something that they would do. I I, I mean if I they, think they'll do yeah. they'll, they're going to continue this animation style, but I don't know if they're going to stay in this time period i don't know if yeah because i don't know if i don't know that, that'd be interesting I, I i would watch it obviously and i'd probably like it but i don't know like first off i don't even know what you would do with it yeah um because you'd have to have to go off in a different direction and, and i i feel like bad batch is gonna tie up a lot of like clone things when it comes to this era true so true. Um, uh, but another possibility that I've seen people talking about is the 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 clone assassin that we have been heavily focusing on. Mm-hmm. It's it's obvious that it's someone that we know, or they would not focus on this specific assassin as much sure. as they have. Obviously, could be Cody. Mm-hmm. Could be Tech. Okay. I I I got to I got to actually talk about this because this is like my viewpoint hasn't completely changed, but it's I've warmed up to the to the possibility of tech actually living because you know, everyone says there's no way tech survives that fall, which is like obviously understandable. But also yeah. 
do you think that the entire time that he's falling that he wouldn't even make an attempt to try to save himself you know i mean yeah i the thing is we don't know like how far the like, it looked like a f and like a you, really far fall you don't know how, you don't know how well, how far it is you don't know what's down there you don't know what he could possibly like grab or stop himself on to like slow himself down or anything yeah which is like i there could be some sort of possibility there that he somehow saves himself to not to the point where he like can get up and run but to the point yeah. that he would be alive and they capture him and the empire would find him uh so that could be a possibility could be cody i we're gonna see cody at some point which yeah, we have to have is to. like the fact that we haven't seen him yet is what maybe points me to him being the assassin. True. But dude, someone someone brought up the the idea of the the assassin being tech and cross crosshair knows. But he's, but not, he's not telling the rest of the group because he doesn't want to break it to him that it's tech. <laughs> Hmm. you know what i mean i never thought about that actually. because yeah, because crosshair was in that training so he could possibly hmm. know that it's tech and that's why he hasn't brought up anything because he doesn't want to break it to them that the tech's alive and that is what has happened to him yeah and with the it didn't it didn't that's actually really interesting yeah i've never thought about that because that's like something where that is an internal battle with Crosshair himself, where he's like holding that information back. And because the way that they, that they talk about the assassins is they become a completely different person. Like they are not the yeah. person that they were before. Yeah, exactly. So there's no going back. So obviously Crosshair would not say anything about that if he knew tech was within that. Mm -hmm. So hmm. I thought that was a really interesting idea. That's very interesting. Yeah. Never, um, I never would have thought about that. Yeah. No, like I, uh, like I said, it, it's not completely changed my viewpoint. Like I, I want tech to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want him to die. But yeah. But for... if he's like, if he's like that, like, I mean, he's already gone anyway at that point. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I feel like. for the story, for how good it is, Tech di actually dying in that instance is like 10 out of 10 needs to happen perfect. Yeah. And I, I love that. <laughs> so I don't want him to come back, not because it would ruin that moment, but because that i i just i just think it's a perfect ending for that and for him but yeah so do i so do i the 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 thing that people have said is like tech being alive and tech being this assassin doesn't take away from that moment because like he did still sacrifice himself mm -hmm. and it's more so of him not sacrificing his life for them it's well i guess it kind of is but it's sacrificing he is because he because he's he's a different person if if it's yeah. him so and he also so that's why not... i said that's why i said like technically it kind of is but yeah he's sacrificing himself to the empire to for led to everybody he's else. not vo voluntarily with the empire either like he was no. he was yeah. sacrificing himself if he lives there like by his own will it's not like he chose to then go to the empire. Like it's, it's not by his choice, which, which then just makes it even more evil on the empire's end, which oh, yeah. makes it just like, like it, it does not like undermine Tech's decision of sacrificing himself. So, which is like the biggest part of it. Plus it would make sense for the empire to do that too. Like, yes. Like find him alive and be like, like oh no he's actually he's not alive like he's dead 
but then them turn around as he's alive and do this to him and make him to, you know, erase his memory completely and just turn him one of these assassins to mm-hmm. specifically track down the bad bad. It would make sense. That it would make a lot of sense for Hemlock to. Exactly. Especially, especially Hemlock to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't, obviously we don't know what they're doing, but like, I think there's so many different theories that work really well with the story. I agree. It's actually so. I never thought about that. So that's actually a good thing to kind of keep in the back of my mind and think about. Yeah. So if it is tech, I'm I'm not fully mad at it. Like. Yeah, I'm not mad at it either. If it if it ends up like that, like I wouldn't be like outraged. You know? I mean, I I even said. When, like right after that the season two finale when that happened and everyone was saying like tech's not dead we didn't see it tech's not dead he's alive <laughs> i was like i wouldn't be mad but it like it depends on what they do with it yeah the problem is they the problem is sometimes they overdo it overdo these things yeah sometimes now in this case i don't think i would be mad about it i think it would still provide just the same value to the story i think it might even get a little bit more just Mm -hmm. because it's tech but it's not really tech obviously but and it it would it's it's better for someone to be alive after that in in terms of like if the empire is the reason that he's alive it's not by his own will so it's not like he it's not like he is like he's just magically alive and like <laughs> death means nothing in star wars yeah yeah it means that the empire is evil <laughs> <laughs> and they will do this type of shit and I, that just it, it just makes the empire seem more intimidating yeah no definitely <laughs> I I see I could see it. I definitely see Empire doing that stuff, especially Hemlock. I could definitely see Hemlock doing something like that because mm-hmm. that dude is evil, evil. <laughs> he is evil with a capital everything. <laughs> yep, <laughs> not just a capital E. Every everything is capital <laughs> in that. <laughs> oh man, I it, but I will say. Uh, th- there's two two possibilities I think could happen with how they're setting up Crosshair and Omega's relationship. They're either setting up Crosshair to die, or they're setting up Hunter to die. Yeah, because they're kind of making Crosshair seem like the new dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely like yeah, it's a little bit different from the Tech Omega relationship a little bit. Yeah. It's still obviously, you know, the same, you know, back and forth kind of deal, but it definitely feels a little bit different. Like, it does feel like it, I don't know, I, because Hunter really hasn't been like that father figure he usually is, like, all the time, anyway. Yeah. Obviously, he still has the moments, but, you know, before it was all the time, he was the father figure. I I feel like Tech and Omega was more of them trying to understand each other. Yeah, it was. And and really bond that way, whereas Crosshair is more protective over Omega. Oh yeah, for sure. Because t- Crosshair is is very much about loyalty, and that's what he saw with Omega not leaving him behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's very much like attached at that point and no matter what like even though they're back and they're safe they're on Pabu they have no worries at the moment she is still like actively caring for him yeah and like trying to help him yeah although I mean it could be like a I mean I know I think I think Omega said she was older than them but <laughs> um but it's because they have just have a lot of the back and forth it might even be like a maybe like a like a like a brother like a big brother sister type of relationship where you have the, you know those constant jabs at each other yeah um but you know obviously crosshair like you said is super protective over like maybe it could be like 
they were trying they're trying to shoot for that type of relationship maybe mm-hmm. with them. Um or father figure too. I don't know. It but you you can definitely tell that Cross is definitely like super protective of her and Yeah, it thing. it definitely is more of a of a sibling. Yeah, Whereas sibling. like like yeah, because a hunter definitely doesn't doesn't give off that sibling vibe with Omega. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a lot of it's a lot yeah. of like jabs and stuff yeah. Like no, that. you're and right. So it might be maybe leaning towards that. I think would be a little bit better, but mm-hmm. which gives me a please don't. I, <laughs> can everybody just live? We can see the rock at the end. He'll welcome everybody back. It, where is get, the rock? I haven't seen the I rock dude, on Pabu. I'm so upset that we didn't get to see Dwayne the Rock Johnson in this episode. I was like, I was we were on <laughs> Pabu. I was I I was hoping we were gonna see him, and we didn't see him. Oh, but man. we need to see him at some point. I need to at see him some at some point. point. Like, come on, man. Like we were literally on Pabu for like half the episode, and you're telling me you could not show the Rock. <laughs> <laughs> come on, I know we he's need, there. We need him once. I know he's there. <laughs> <sighs> Oh man! All right, I think that's all I've got to talk about. I probably have a hundred other different things to say, but I can't think of off the top of my head. There's so there's so of... much. This show is so good. Yeah. There's so Luckily much got, to like. We got a lot of episodes though, so. Yeah. There there's so much to like theorize. Mm-hmm. But there there's also just so much to appreciate about the episodes. So. Oh yeah. Definitely. Which I think this one was just as phenomenal as the others like it where it's just there's been no dip i think these are these have all been great same i've keep saying it i enjoy every episode i've enjoyed the season seasons in the past this season's definitely started off the strongest i would say Mm -hmm. um and they and the momentum just it just keeps carrying on so i'm hoping that it keeps going that way and then I'm not ready for the finale, but I know it'll be here sooner than I know it. So, yep. All I, all I hope for is, uh, next week, first thing we see, Hunter and Wrecker get back. Crosshair's hand is fixed. Yeah, or the Rock, or Dwayne the Rock Johnson. That works too. <laughs> one of the one of the two. We can do one of both the two. Of them. We can yep. do both of them. <laughs> I'm I'm 100% down with that. Maybe we'll get a Stone Cold Stunner too. All right, guys, we'll catch you next week for episode nine of the Bad Bad.